Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm planning to reorganize my fridge and uh, clean up some stuff that need to be prepared for the Chinese New Year. So just uh, stay tuned and uh, keep watching. Thanks, guys. So making the bed is the first thing I do when I got out of the bed. This is how my living room and kitchen in the early in the morning. Normally I clean it up every time before I go to bed. So I don't want to wake up like so messy and disorganized in the morning. So still but still now I have to do the breakfast for them and start on cleaning. So now I have to prepare breakfast for them this morning. She, my daughter, she just want avocados and her milk. And my son started doing the same milk as her, his sister. So while I'm doing this one, and then I saw I'm checking this, yeah, touching those things. It's, see, it's kind of sticky on my hand. So I'm just gonna rub everything out, and I'm gonna start cleaning up and fill up all those oils and sauce. Soya sauce, fish sauce, all the kinds of sauce. So yeah, also use, take advantage of this time. I'm gonna clean up everything and fill everything to be fulfilled, uh, especially Chinese New Year coming up in the next 10 days. So I have to make sure that everything, you know, food is, the fridge is ready with and all I'm the food. And I'm gonna check in my fridge to see what needs to be kept and what needs to be thrown out. Cause uh, yeah, we was on holidays for the last um, two, three weeks and then pretty much lots of old stuff here that needs to be thrown out and we're gonna deep clean the fridge reorganize and I will do it right now so now everything out of the fridge I'm just gonna cut in my vegetable wash it and put it into container I normally do this one after I'm coming back from my grocery I do this one right away either fish meat or whatever like whatever coming from Grocery, I pretty much cut it, wash it, everything is ready to go uh, so that, you know, it helped me a lot because, you know, when you come back late from work, at least everything is ready. You just dump, you just get into the kitchen and then just starting cooking. Those steps is being done already. And also that it keeps the fish smell fresh and, 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 and clean as well. Because, you know, I, I don't like to keep all dirty vegetables in the fridge because so everything is done and right now I'm just going to transfer this, all those containers going to the fridge. <laughs> I'm just wondering how you guys keep the house clean and organized, but in my case, in order for me to do it, the only way that I have to make a home for every single product that I'm using that in my house. And I'm trying to put everything at the same place as much as possible. That's the only way it's easy for my husband and my my daughter looking for stuff when they need and they put it back the place that it's supposed to be. Um, I always telling them that, you know, like if you guys don't help me to clean up the house, at least don't make a mess. Always take things and put it back is the place that it's supposed to be. And so far, so good. So far as my husband and my daughter, after they're taking something, they put it back, it's supposed to be. And I'm proud of it. Like, so, you know, at least they they not giving you guys like they not giving us more job to do. The only thing right now is that my little boy is still making so much mess for mommy to do. Um, you guys see that in the morning, I show you guys the house pretty much is clean and organized because I'm done every every night before I go to bed. But in the morning, once I get into the kitchen, I'm cleaning this. It turned out that I, you know, like this one needs to be cleaned, that one needs to be cleaned. At the end, is I pretty much I, I deep clean the entire house every single day, like every single day. It's just more thing cleans for me. And my, it's my sister always saying that because it's nothing that you know, like you need to be clean, uh, your house needs to be clean or anything. It's just because I'm upset with cleaning. So that's why she's saying that. I'm not sure about that, but to me, it's like once I get into some place that, yeah, it's just gonna make me busy cleaning all the time. And she's probably right. Like I, maybe I'm just upset uh, with cleaning. Who knows?
I had been cleaning since 9.30 to 1.30. I haven't eaten anything, so thank God my sister came and uh, she just cooked a noodle for me. So, uh, yeah, after I'm folding my, my clothes and then I have uh, one bowl of noodles ready for me. Yeah, I keep doing this and then I forgot that I haven't eaten anything even. Now I'm going to sweep in the floor and mop the floor. I done my dishes, I done my all laundry, and my son just came back from his nap. And again, he kind of bother me, he won't let me cleaning. So it's just back and forth, take forever. Like normally you take it's like five, ten minutes to sweep in the floor, but with him around, maybe it take you like twenty minutes. <laughs> Everything getting delayed with my little boy. So cute. <laughs> Son la prolongación de la existencia Después cuantos esfuerzos I have very good compliments. Every time I have guests coming over, they always say that I wouldn't believe that this house has like a little girl four years old and a boy one years old. Because most of the times I they say that when they walk into the house with kids, they knew right away with toys sitting all over the place and, and masks and stuff like that. But thank God, like I said, um, I set the rules for my daughter when she was like two years old already when we live in a very small house. Uh, the duplex people Every time she plays something, she put it back, everything back to her place. And uh, with this house, the same way, like, you know, like I just only allow her to have all her toys in her room. At least making mess over there, when the guests coming over, they won't see anything. So I just say that, you know, don't bring any toys into the living room, especially down here. Uh, when my son has to be around me when I'm cooking and doing it, so I have to bring one, of, one or two toys down here for him to distract him to play but other than that I yeah I wouldn't let them to bring any toys down here at all So you guys see that uh, pretty much everything done. Uh, I'm done almost everything. Cleaning the house, mopping the floor, dishes, and I'm organized my fridge and I feel everything, all the sauce and all oils, everything in full, ready for Chinese New Year. And right now it's almost 4 o'clock and it's still very dark right now because it's winter times in Canada right now. And look at the fridge, everything is being organized. You guys will see that there's a lot of beer, but actually my husband, he doesn't drink at all. Um, Hennekin is one of my dad's favorite beer, so I have to make sure that all the time is we have it in a fridge ready for him when he coming over. He have it uh, to drink. So my daughter is just questioning why it's the biggest these two size, cookies. And this is in front of the house. They clean here. The washing bin clean. The pantry is clean as well. 
So this is the top views of my living room. Hey guys, dinner times. So I normally cook dinner for my husband 20 minutes before he got home. And you, you guys see that uh, all this food that I prepared this morning. So pretty much everything is washed and clean already. I just take it out and uh, just checking the times uh, to make sure that you know by the time the food is cooked, my husband just arrived. He loves to have the cook is still fresh and hot. And normally dinner we don't cook so many dishes. We just have only one or two dish. And normally we don't eat so much at night time. So it's easy for me to to prepare the dinner as well. So as you guys can see that everything being washed this morning. Now I'm just gonna um, cut some more the slice that he wanted to. This morning I didn't get a time to do it, but pretty much I'm gonna do green beans today and with bell pepper and onion. So you guys will see on my left side that I peel my onions and I cut it. And I always using all the fly. The way I keep my kitchen clean is I'm using, I keep all the flyers that um, expire. I use it. I put it on my cutter top and I put everything I need to cut or peel the skin, whatever. So at the end is I wrap everything and put it straight into the garbage. So that's way you guys could see that. It's not gonna be transfer the smells or anything on my cutter top. So you see, I wrap it just like that and go straight to the garbage. This is very simple, but my husband he really loved this dish. Uh, he's saying that it, it takes and the flavor is pretty good. It's very simple to cook. You can, can see that I'm just using the fryer sauce that uh, I bought in Asian market and uh, garlic and stuff like that. Like one seasoning is pretty much that's it. But it tastes pretty good. Now I'm using uh, the chili I bought from Korean market. So I'm just gonna uh, use in the same fryer pan to do some uh, some fried rice with that with that chili from Korean it tastes pretty good Alegran el hogar, valentía, 
con su merced. A quien se quiera dar, si no a no cuela Hey, hey guys, that's how I finish my day. The dinner is ready. This is the dinner time. We eat very late at night, so not gonna be so much food. And this is my son starts crying. Bye guys, thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more coming up videos. Thank you. Bye bye.